Discovery Houston, we'd like to... That mission uh, control, it sounds like they're in space. It looks uh, like they're in space. The, uh, it feels like they're in space. But this space shuttle hasn't left the ground. Flight deck crew on For the last oh, time inside this uh, shuttle mock-up at the Johnson three Space three Center, three astronauts are practicing three their three mission three to turn a satellite loose in space. This is the flight deck of the space shuttle. All five astronauts are up here. They're getting ready to deploy the satellite. Now, where are we? Currently 160 miles up over the Indian Ocean. Mission specialist Don Thomas and the other four crew members have spent hundreds of hours in simulation. Want to know how realistic things are in this mock-up? Well, take a look out the window, see what you see. That's the satellite in the payload bay. Discovery Houston for the depth. It's just like as realistic in mission control, where technicians data. monitor data everything that happens to the okay. shuttle. You and you won't believe what can happen. A lot of times we'll throw in engine failures where one of the main engines fails. Tim and Terry's job is to make disaster happen, and, and he is diabolical. You name you, uh, it, and Tim Terry's crew will make it fail. Side. We're going to go back and troubleshoot the uh, IUSA computer, which failed earlier. So how do you solve a problem like that? With lots of help from the ground, typically, and using these... Books. Commander Tom Henrick says these simulations are so real, you forget they're simulations. We think that engine really quit, or that computer has really hard failed, and it's life-threatening. So what they're doing is training us extremely realistically for what we're going to experience in, in flight.